Today, we get to talk to Chloe Sens. She's a special makeup effects artist in the film and television industry here in Local 706 in Los Angeles. And I got to meet Chloe on set when I was asked to come in day play and the rest was history. Let's talk. Hey guys, my name is Chloe Sens and I'm here today with one of my very favorite people, JQ, on her channel for Makeup Trailer Talk. Thank you for being here, Chloe. Thank you for having me. <laughs> So stoked, man. You've been killing it. You've always been killing it, but whether it's artistry or just being down. But uh, before uh, COVID-19 went ahead and captured the world. <laughs> yeah, crazy yeah. times we're in, for sure. Yeah, exactly. Unlike some of the people that we'll talk to sometimes, there are people who are known within our industry, and then there are people who are known outside of the industry. And one of the things that's really special about you is the fact that you have uh, a peer knowledge, so those of us in 706 and some in 798 and some across the board or even over the world know you as a fellow makeup artist and somebody who you can call to for like special effects like a beast. But then there's this other side of the world that knows you almost like, a, like an influencer or a celebrity or a, in that style in the sense that they don't have to do anything with makeup. Somebody could be a CEO at a corporation or an engineer and yet somehow they know who Chloe Sens is. The fact that misconceptions can be a problem. What do you wish people knew about you when you step in the makeup trailer if they don't already know it? Something you wouldn't have to tell them or explain. I mean, I think it goes back to the beginning of my career. You know, I, I am extremely blessed to have had the opportunities that I did as far as face off, as far as winning a scholarship to cinema, makeup school, as far as coming up and meeting the people the way that I did. Um, I think that at some point, <clears throat> you know, all the hard work and all, it's like a, like a duck. When you see a duck floating on water, you don't see them like pedaling underneath. So I think the misconception is that it, it all comes easy. And I don't think that just applies to me. I think it applies to a lot of people, whether they were face off or whether they're self-taught or, you know, as soon as their success happens, you don't really see the journey. I mean, you see bits and pieces of it. Um, but to really know an artist and to know an artist as a friend is it's not that person online. It's not that person on TV. Right. It's, it's the, the true artist and the tr true friend. And I've been humbled and honored to know so many incredible people where they come from and, and their values. And at the end of the day, all we all want to do is, is art and makeup and yeah. to work together and to learn together. Do you ever find yourself being instantly treated a certain way because someone does think they know you through social media? Yeah, I mean, I think that's faded over the years. I really wanted to, you know, I was fortunate enough to get to tour and do the whole IMATS thing across the world and get to know that whole team. And it really was like a traveling circus. Yeah. It really taught me to like push myself and, and to learn and um, to meet so many people. That being said, there was a point where I was like, I, I just really want to focus on getting into 706, on being a real on-set makeup artist, on learning and working from the best. And so at that point, I made a decision to leave kind of the trade show circuit and mm -hmm. really focusing on getting my days and getting in the union. And I had a, a lot of support in doing that. Mm -hmm. And, and um, you know, I would love to department head big shows one day I was doing it in the non-union world. But when you get in the union, you're kind of starting over and earning your stripes all over again. And we are the next generation. I mean, and, and I, I always want to hear what the older, older generation has to say of what they want to see in us and what they, what they want to pass down and what they don't want to pass down. When you walk into the makeup trailer, whether or not you know that department head, let's say you're walking in as a day player, Okay. When you walk into that trailer, what's the most important thing to you when it comes to the person that you're about to be led by? I, I want them to know that ultimately I have their back and I'm ready to do whatever it is that they need me to do. I think people think I'm like kind of a loud and crazy person. I'm actually like a very quiet, like, Hey, how's it going? Like, what do you need from me? I'm going to, I'm going to give you my hundred percent no yeah. matter what. 
you know, when walking into a makeup trailer, like we all have personalities, we all want to shine. I think the most important part is to, you are there as a support. You are not the star talent. You are not the queen bee. You are there to support the team and to support the department head and to create the work, the best work that you possibly can. So let's, let's switch that. You're the department head. You've created your team. What's most important to you in your trailer, in your safe space? So when I'm hiring as department head, I, I want to A, hire people that are as good or better than me. Mm -hmm. I want to hire for the job. Secondary, I look at people that can be neutral, can be accountable, can be on time, aren't going to be on their phones all day, um, and will be the same support that I give and other people give when we're supporting a department head. What are the things, whether that's in the past, in the present, whatever that is, that, that make you feel insecure in your own world on set, i.e. the makeup world? I mean, I think we all kind of have an imposter syndrome. Mm. Um, I think we all do a makeup and like it or love it enough to let it go. And f 10, 15, an hour the next day later, or like it's trash. Yeah. But we all go through this thing, you know? And I think it, it's healthy, but it's also very not healthy because it gives you these like very ups and downs. Right. Um, I wish that people knew who I was rather than what they hear. Yeah. Um, Again, that comes with your, a little bit of your notoriety in the sense that people think they know you. you yeah, know? I, I did something when I was, you know, 21 years old and fresh out of school and I'm, I'm happy I did it. It was an experience of a lifetime, but I think it kind of set off my career as this path of, um, I don't know. I get that. Where do you have a soft spot? Where are you almost always able to give people a second chance? Uh, I have a soft spot for people that are truly coming up and doing their best. And sometimes their best is not what you need, but you can tell that they're really giving it their all. Right. You're a department head. Give me a pet peeve of yours in the trailer. Uh, phones. I sit there, put my feet on my station. That's another thing. Get your feet off your station. Get your food off your station. What do you look for in your peers? People that see me and that I see them for who we truly are. What is something you wish somebody, anybody, doesn't matter who they are, or where they come from, had told you before you came into the makeup industry? It doesn't matter what anybody thinks. Why was that so important to you? I think as artists, we all battle our own demons, whether we're good enough, whether we're um, talented enough. What is talent? What is working hard? Are they the same? Is there, does it equate to the same eventually? And I think coming up, you listen so much to what other people have to say, what other people think about who you are or your art or how you are and we don't all work together well we don't all agree upon the same values right there are different camps absolutely there are different teams all of them i respect all of them i would love to work for i have found some incredible people and bosses and camps and friends and mentors that day after day I will go to bat for, I will be there for it no matter what. And that's my team. And I spent so much time worrying about what other people thought about me or my art or my skill or my lack of skill. And none of that really matters when you're with the people that see who you are. 
It's been wonderful. I'm so happy to know you as a friend and a colleague. Um, oh, but I'm stoked for others to finally be able to get little tiny tidbits of you, even if it is just five minutes. <laughs>